When he jumps on you and you pushing him and saying, Buster, no, no, Buster, no, I'm getting to play with my mom, right? We're, we're having a little dance. Let's see how they respond, right? Pop. Pop. Right? Buster. So show me what you're doing with him as far as, because one of the big keys with behavior is structure. The way you say things to a dog yeah. is the way they perceive it, because they don't understand necessarily the words early on, but they understand your tone. The way you say things is how he's perceiving it. So if you're saying uh, uh, it's... I know. I know. No, this is... Okay, so this is good. Uh, so, so exactly what I'm saying, the way you say things is the way he perceives them. So when he was jumping on you, you went, hey, off, 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 off. Yeah. And for him, that's kind of like, if I was teaching my dog to do something, or any dog to do something that he, they didn't know, I would say, yeah, good, 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 right. good, good, good. In other words, it's almost a continuation the way you're saying it, right? So the, the best thing for your dog is to have a really clear communication with him so that you say something, mm -hmm. I hear it, I know what it means, and I do it. So that's the easiest way for him to get that. So his little anxiety things like that are totally normal based on, he got him during the pandemic, right? He wasn't really socialized. And you are obviously a very, kind and sweet person. You don't want to correct your dog. You don't want to be a, appear to be a jerk to your dog, which is all totally normal, right? Okay. So, and we're not going to change any of that. We're not going to make you be a jerk to your dog. But what I'd like you to do with him is I'd like you to be a little clearer with him, right? So walk up. And what all I want you to do is right the minute when you walk up to me, just say, Buster, sit. And if he doesn't, doesn't like, he, like that, that's really good. Um, no, Buster, no. Good. Um, when he, when he goes to put a movement onto you, the easiest communication for him, if you back up, right, if you start doing this as he's doing it, it's kind of like inviting him to continue, right? Mm -hmm. Because theoretically, if you're walking towards me and I do this, what are you gonna do? You're gonna keep walking towards me until you get to shake my hands. Oh, you know, hi, or maybe I'm stepping at something or whatever. The communication I would have with him, and I wouldn't do it abruptly because he's what we call a soft dog, is I would just step, take a step forward into him, right? So next time he jumps on you, just step into him and don't say anything. Don't say a word, right? Okay. And then we're going to try something else. We're going to, there's two different methodologies for a softer dog like him, and we'll see how they respond, right? Pop. Pop. Right? Buster. No. Pop. So don't say anything okay. and just walk into him. Walk. Yeah, you're trying to explain something to him in a tone that sounds like, this is awesome, this okay. is fun. Instead, I want it to be uncomfortable but clear. And right when you get, me, get to me, say sit, Buster, sit. Sit. Good, now he can't walk into him. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Right, and now wait. Good, now pet him. Good boy, don't get him excited, just pet him, good. So every time he does that jumping, 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 all you do is you do, you just claim his space, right? Mm -hmm. If I'm here and he's trying to claim my space, I'm just gonna claim your space, right? Okay. And it's gonna make him think that you're a little more in control than him. It's a, little, it's a baby step with him. Okay. Try him one more time. So this is gonna give you a little bit more room using a long line on the dog where you can kind of work at a distance from him. So in other words, one thing with dogs, if I might, um, what makes dogs uncomfortable is, is this, right? See what he's doing? He's trying to get away, and he's feeling that being next to me has a lot of pressure, right? The other thing you can do when you have a long line on is, is step on this long line here, right? So when he goes to jump, right? Don't, don't even say anything. Don't even say anything. Right? So step on the leash, step on the leash. Mm -hmm. Step on it. Step. Okay. Now just he sit. does this a lot if like, we're on a walk and yeah, yeah, yeah. husband takes him. Okay. He wants to be with me. Yeah, he like can't do that. So you've got to embrace the fact that you you must be in control of your dog. Okay. okay, so just step off the leash and turn around and step back on it because his leg is a little tangled there. Good. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Step on a leash. Step on a leash. Step on a leash. Right? Don't move. Right? Don't move. Don't move. Stand still. 
Right? Don't pet him until he sits. Good. There you go. And now what I want you to do is consciously move, but get right back to a position where you can step on that leash. And step back on the leash, because he's going to try to jump again when he gets excited. Good. Watch him. Okay, so if I step up and put a little pressure on him, he might just... Okay, that's fine. I'm not that worried about that. Okay. Good. That's what I want. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Good. Untangle your left foot. Turn around. Praise him. Good boy. Good boy. Right. Good. And not too much. Good. So abundant. Step right back on the leash, right? Good. Yeah, perfect. So what I want him to do, what's really hard for you as a, as a nurturing person, right, um, is to put a correction on him, right? Because you think it's going to be personal. Oh, he might not like me and he's going to have his feelings hurt, right? What I want him to get is a correction that, that's happening in your presence without you really doing it. So now he's a little easier, a little calmer, right? So take this leash with you. Take five steps, ten steps, whatever, come right back, step on the leash, and tell him to sit. Good, and then again, make sure you're in a position to succeed. Sit. You're good. And say it emphatically. Buster, sit. Good. The way you say things is the way he will perceive them. So if you say, Buster, sit. No, sit. Right? And when you say sit, he has to sit until you're done with him sitting. Right? So. That's better now, right? So let's do it again. Walk away, come back. And now he's not trying to jump because for some reason, like the hand of God or something, is keeping him from jumping. And he's seeing that jumping is not benefiting him. Right? When he jumps on you and you pushing him and saying, Buster, no, no, Buster, no, I'm getting to play with my mom, right? We're, we're having a little dance. You don't like the dance, but he's having a great time with the dance.